Grief is hard, but getting good grief support doesn't have to be. That's why I love text-based grief support from Grief Coach. For less than the price of an hour's therapy, Grief Coach sends you thoughtful tips and resources about life after loss all year long. Texts are curated by grief experts and authors and can be customized based on relationship, cause of death, and more. You also receive personalized texts for grief anniversaries and special days, and extra support around the holiday season. And if you have friends or family members who want to help you grieve but aren't sure how, you can add them to your subscription and Grief Coach will text them grief support tips and reminders of your important dates, because no one should ever have to grieve alone. Sign up for Grief Coach's text-based grief support today at grief.coach slash Shelby for Scythia. You can find a link in the show notes. Hello and welcome to Grief Book Roundup, a podcast where I introduce you to a grief book I love in 10 minutes or less. I'm Shelby Forsythia, an intuitive grief guide and author who helps grieving people come back to life after devastating loss. My mom's death in 2013 made me a student of grief, and I'm perpetually reading books related to loss, transformation, and finding your way after everything falls apart. Here, I'll share them with you. On Grief Book Roundup, I'll introduce you to grief books new and old, highlight marginalized authors and underrepresented grief stories, and remind you in whatever loss you're facing, you are not alone. Let's get to today's book. Hi there, grief growers, and thanks so much for joining me for another episode of Grief Book Roundup. Today, I am bringing you a book called The After Grief by Hope Edelman, and it's exactly what it sounds like. I am an avid consumer of grief books, if you can't already tell by this podcast, and a lot of times it seems as if most books that cover grief and loss cover three things. They cover the events leading up to the loss, the loss itself, and then the first couple of years negotiating life with grief. And the After Grief is one of the first books that I've read that's written for grievers in their 5th, 12th, 20th and even 50th year of life after loss. In other words, those of us who recognize that we are grieving for the long haul, which at some point, if we are privileged enough to live a long life, is all of us. Drawing on the wisdom of psychologists and grief professionals and interviews with researchers and grieving people, Hope Edelman reminds us that grief is not an obstacle to get over, but a life experience that shapes our identity for as long as we live. The After Grief is a guidebook for mindfully and intentionally carrying grief forward in a way that loss can become, as Hope Edelman writes, your traveling companion rather than your burden. If I had to pick three words to describe the book, the After Grief would be validating, growth-oriented, and thorough. Validating because throughout this book, Hope Edelman takes great care, whether she's sharing a piece of information uh, from psychology or a story from one of her motherless daughters groups, to validate the fact that society does not let us continue to take our grief with us into the future. We are often pressured to get over our grief or move forward or move on um, in ways that insist we leave our grief in the past. So if you feel like you're failing, at all of these things that society demands of us, this will be an immensely validating book for you. Growth-oriented because Hope Edelman subscribes to the school of both and. We can have a loss and it can have changed us for the better. We can have a tragic thing happen in our past and we can make something from it. We can have experienced something that took us out at the knees and rebuild our lives in a way that contains meaning and value and depth in the aftermath. This book is one that won't just acknowledge the fact that we're in grief for the long haul, but make grief in the long haul survivable and possibly even remarkable. And lastly, the word thorough, because every single chapter in this book is filled with psychological research, it's filled with personal stories, oftentimes multiples for different types of losses, especially losses uh, that happen early or losses that are related to shock, trauma, or tragedy. There are so many examples of things to sort through in this book, but also the science, the data, the research, the terminology to back it up. In terms of losses included in this book, loss due to death is the primary loss that's referenced in the after grief because it's a book about how the death of a loved one or several loved ones impacts us for the rest of our lives. 
You'll find that Hope Edelman also covers secondary loss, the loss of identity, early and traumatic loss, and the loss of support from family, friends, and society. She also gives names to concepts that are called new grief, old grief, new old grief, resurrected grief, staggered grief, developmental grief, maturational grief, proxy grief, and the grief of being a child or an infant when a loss occurs and therefore having to reconstruct memories as best you can. Some favorite quotes from the book, I'll share two of them. The first one is this. The end of one story is always the beginning of another, in an overarching, never-ending chain of cause and effect. A story of loss leads into a story of survival. A story of survival sparks a story of adaption that, under the very best circumstances, becomes a story of growth. Next one. If I have learned anything at all from four years of researching the long arc of grief, it's that growth in the long term is the product of friction, of the movement between two dichotomous poles, in this case, the personal and the public. We must sit with our sorrow, and we must also share it. Then we must sit with it some more, alchemizing meaning and purpose, before we go out into the world and actualize what we've learned about ourselves and others. Growth after loss doesn't come from sitting around and waiting for growth to arrive. It's an active, effortful process of revisiting and reframing our memories and creating new stories for ourselves moving forward. So grief growers, if you are curious about how, how do I live the entire rest of my life with loss in tow, The After Grief is a book for you. Thank you so much for joining me today on Grief Book Roundup. You can find a link to buy today's book in the show notes for this episode. If you'd like to submit a grief book for the show or buy one of my books on grief, visit shelbyforsythia.com. You can follow me on social media at Shelby Forsythia on Facebook and Instagram. If this podcast helped you find your next great grief read, be sure to subscribe and leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. And if someone in your life has experienced a loss, be sure to share this show with them, especially if they love to read. I'm able to purchase grief books and keep this podcast on the air thanks to my amazing Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support Grief Book Roundup on Patreon through a yearly or monthly pledge and access live grief support calls and workshops hosted by yours truly, visit patreon.com slash shelbyforsythia. Music for Grief Book Roundup is performed by Owen Phillips. Until next time, I see you. I am so proud of you and the work that you're doing in the world. And I love you. Because even through grief, we are growing.